Uh, hello, wonderful people on our glorious planet, wherever you happen to be on this magnificent day. I hope you're doing well. Welcome to my little discussion on federal aviation topics pertaining to the Part 107 drone test. Now, for me, I'm only going to go over two items, you know, per episode. I have a playlist of them so far. I'm up to 12. This is number 13. So I'm only going to do two. I'm not going to overload nobody. So you take your own time and learn this. So let's start with our sample. Two items. Remember, an actual drone test is consists of 60 aviation topics, three multiple choice per item, and for the most part, the FAA drone test is just, it's basically a common sense test, even if you never studied. Even if you never studied and you use common sense, you should get something within a 70 range. Within a 70 range. If you study, you know your scores go up higher. So let's start with our test, with our sample. So you have been hired, let me make sure I can write on here. My pen, yes, I can write. Adjust my pen size for some more presentable. Okay, you have been hired as the remote pilot by a local TV news station to film breaking news with a small unmanned aircraft. You expressed a safety concern. Okay, so here we go. And the manager has instructed you to walk fly first, ask questions later. What type of hazardous attitude does this attitude, what type of hazardous attitude does this attitude represent? There are five hazardous attitudes. That's something you need to know. I know one is well. I'm gonna go. I, I'm not gonna spill the beans. If you wanna learn about those hazardous attitudes, you can do your little research. But I'm just gonna pertain to this question right here. Number one. Machoism, that seems to. Number two, invulnerability, that's off. And number three, impulsivity. Let's look at the queen. Fly first. Okay, what that mean? Do it now. Fly first mean do now. So that doesn't have to do with no machoism, because machoism mean nobody can beat me. I'm the toughest one there is. He's saying fly first. Ask questions later. So fly first means do it now. So it's not this one. And you see I just use common sense for it. Common sense. The correct answer is impulsivity. All I did was common sense. But I know when you're taking a test, even though you, 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 you may have rational thinking, when you're taking a test, you know we always feel pressure. Every test, there's some type of pressure. So your rational ability may be slightly off. If you go there taking a the test, it's raw. You may be off. Okay, so that's it for that one. Let's get on to the second one and the final one, which still is basically another common sense question. But here, you have to know something about drones and drones and stuff. See, when adapting a resource, crew resource management, that's a drone topic right there, so you can study that. You can type in drone. If you want to do your research, you can type in drone res, crew resource manager concepts to it. So when a depth increase crew resource management CRM concepts to the operation of a small amount aircraft crew resource management must be integrated into weight. Now integrated. You know that that's basically mean used. Must be used into so integrated just mean used so 
the flight portion only okay all phases of the operation the communication only see now when they got the word only it's saying integrated into ah uh, crew crew a crew do more than one thing so flight portion there's a word only tell me wrong the communication only a crew do more than one thing so I know this is wrong so the wisest answer is all phases of the operation so thank you for stopping by good people to share with me some of these questions now the questions they make they more because you're not reading no maps with this you know but most of the tests they definitely make them now you make it at 70 on just reading these simple questions but those maps supplement charts that's the bulk of the test so you have to study you have to study you know them supplement charts you know um how how air space sections look you know like the air space uh b c d e and even g that may get you so thank you for stopping by now when i took the test i made my own four separate tests with google forms that will help me to pass the test and when i use google forms when i went back to test one it was always in a random order so it's basically i have a, i have an infinite amount of tests but four separate tests in a random order if you would like to get one of my little sample tests you can email me and i can send it to you at the end of this video or during the video i'll be giving you information on how to get those uh um information all right until the next time drone family peace